think of estimating and pre-construction as the number one priority at WebCore. Um, because if the job's not set up right, the chances of it going well is, is very low. Uh, so we put a lot of emphasis on, on pre-construction estimating. So we're looking for the topmost talent. So you're, you're working for, you're working with a group of highly motivated, highly skilled professionals around you, which will only increase your level of expertise and, and raise your game. Metropolis, Columbia Square, Living on Vine, IMAX West Coast Headquarters, Four Seasons, New Century Plaza, and uh, the Silver Lake Reservoir. Small residential development projects, uh, I got to work on student housing, I got to work on a high-rise tower. Major office uh, campuses, medical office buildings, you know, museum type, civic type projects, uh, you know, public, public works, uh, you know, hard bid projects as well. I worked on projects that were from you know, a couple million dollars, like restoration projects to, you know, a billion dollar project. Skyscrapers to 12 story condo building. In one, one instance, I'm working on a, a 60 story high rise. And then the following week, I'm working on um, maybe a, uh, a set of parks that are supporting a development of high rises. We pursue all types of delivery methods, such as negotiated work, design build, design bid build, uh, we will also joint venture with another general contractor. The goal actually with different estimators is to make sure you don't only do hotels, or you don't only do uh, residential, really to make sure you get the exposure to all of those different projects. You have to be creative and, and really um, figure out ways that, that you can drive the cost down or at least show the owner different ideas and where we can get more cost uh, competitive. We really get to put the puzzle together uh, with very little information and really kind of, you know, sometimes play the role of the architect or the engineer and draw out the solutions. If you figure out a way that is more efficient and works better, um, people are open to hearing how that works. My favorite project that I worked on during this meeting was the Mission Rock development. During the time that I worked on that, I developed a really good understanding of what the client is looking for and helped them pull together kind of a spreadsheet. The goal was to give the client the possibility to look at different design materials, design choices, and then in depending on what they chose, that would influence the cost. I took one of their models and I basically, I just 3D printed the steel structure of that panel and then uh, separately the panel itself you can kind of see how it overlaid on top of each other and hold it in your hand and look around it versus like trying to look at it on a screen. We were looking at several different ways to build a basement. We simulated multiple different versions. Um, we talked to several subs to get their input and, and worked with the architect and engineer to come up with the best solution um, and that was more than just you know putting putting numbers on a, on a spreadsheet. You know, we started this estimating and rotation program about five years ago, and I was actually one of the first estimators to go through it. Um, and it was to give our our people a chance to get experience in the estimating department where you learn costs, which is very valuable, regardless if you end up in the estimating role or not. I'm a product of rotation. Uh, my first job at WebCore was uh, working for a concrete group for the first eight months. and. Um, and the, one of the projects I estimated was my first job in construction, so I went and built it. I realized pretty quickly during my time in estimating how much I didn't know. You know, I think it's that case of you don't know what you don't know. As project engineers are rotating through the pre-construction department from the field or back out to the field, they don't want an engineer to be stagnant or stuck in, in one particular um, expertise. They want them to be more developed and more di diverse in their, their training. I really wanted to go uh, build a design build a medical office building that came through our door. You know, I worked on the pursuit, we ultimately got the job, and then I went out as a lead project manager and managed that construction for three and a half years and then rotated back to the pre-construction department as an estimator. 
A lot of the time you reach out to subs for pricing. I think what's great with Webco is we have a division of concrete estimators, drywall estimators, carpentry estimators. And, uh, you know, when we were obviously working in the office, we were all in the same area. So I could just walk over um, and kind of talk to that team. And it just, it gives us, gives us a real edge when we're, when we're going for projects, for sure. The self-performed piece of our work allows us to uh, have a much deeper and larger appreciation of, of our subcontractors. It creates an environment to solve problems in a different way. Rather than being a, a paper pusher, you're looking to solve problems, how to optimize buildings, how to make things more efficient from a labor standpoint. Uh, and that appreciation only comes from a self-performing contractor. Our self-performing groups um, often have or make up quite a big percentage of our budget. Um, and having them right next to you or a phone call away to be able to work and coordinate with them on what's included in these costs and um, if they've accounted for everything is I think very helpful. I like being able to have that in-house self-perform group because you can discuss things that you really can't discuss with a subcontractor. A subcontractor is not going to go up to you and give, give you their labor rates or anything. They bring a level of expertise um, to our to our estimates and to our clients that other GCs would not get. You know, I did not expect that as an engineer, project engineer, I would be sitting in a meeting, having my work reviewed by the CEO of the company. You'll have the COO coming up to your desk and asking you questions. And you're kind of at the forefront of what Webco is pursuing, you know, what's happening, what are we going after? Our senior leaders are very accessible. Um, in fact, you're sitting shoulder to shoulder with them, trying to uh, solve problems. You get to see their perspective, their thinking, their, their strategic approach to those problems and you're learning from the best. I work for large companies and before and you're more of a number and you really, you don't have the um, access to the executive team. Um, that's one of the things that I like about working at Webcore is even though I'm a senior estimator, I have access all the way up to, you know, the CEO and the CFO and the president of the company if I need help or if I have problems. Jeff walks around and is like, oh, what are you working on? Oh, that's cool. And asks you questions and wants to know more about what you're doing. Webcore really cares about its people um, and you're able to really make sure that you balance your personal uh, life with work. Webcore is a very family focused, family driven atmosphere and you know the senior leadership and the executives are focused on not only our our technical and professional development but our well-being. Webcore has a uh, unique culture uh, that I think we actively try and maintain by hiring the right people and giving them the right tools to succeed. Um, it is almost one that's like a family. We generally care about each other's well-being very big on work-life balance. I've been in construction for about 12 years now, estimating for 10. Um, and I've worked for the big giant top five in the country companies where the philosophy is we're gonna work you to the bone uh, right out of college for as long as you can take it. And so I spent five years at a company like that. And I really just got the sense at Webcore that, hey, we're life comes first, work comes second. And we really expect you to Take whatever vacation day you have, take the time off, you're going to need it. We want people who uh, who are like some of the top talents in the company because um, estimating is one of those things where you cannot get a C grade or a B grade on. You need to get an A in estimating. Because...